So there's this thing about identity-based habits. You want to have a good identity of yourself. What I mean by that is you don't want to say, I need to lose weight because it's something to do. You want to say, I'm a person with 10% body fat and 150 pounds or whatever your goal may be. Because when you change your identity, you follow habits that will actually lead you to your identity. You want to be consistent with your identity and that's been proven in previous studies. So don't focus on what you need to do, but focus on who you want to be. What you do repeatedly defines and becomes the person that you are. Just like making a clay pot, you know, spinning around that wheel. You constantly have to push and pull the clay until you build what type of pot you want as that wheel spins. So it's not just one movement that makes a clay pot, but it's a constant action. Just like exercising, you want to make it consistent. You, you have to constantly do it because it's a process and it's not a destination. Now a lot of people give up within a month or two and you have to remember that habits take a while before it becomes automatic. Just like bad habits, it then just happens just like that in one shot. You kept repeatedly doing something that yes, you may have enjoyed because bad habits sometimes they're good, you know, eating junk food tastes great, uh, you know, lounging around, drinking with friends, that, that feels great too. But if you constantly keep doing that without reinforcing good habits, then it's a lot harder to break that bad habit. You didn't become the person that you're currently at right now by one bad habit. It's a constant reinforcement of doing the same thing over and over again until it was ingrained in your system. So by the same token, if you want to change and have good habits, you have to understand that it will take a while before it becomes a habit. See, exercise, if you've had this experience before, if you stop exercising, it's hard to get back on the wagon. It's because you've built up this sedentary lifestyle or eating junk food or whatever it may be that it became a habit that's hard to break. And once you actually get the habit of exercising again, being consistent, knowing it's a process, it will get easier and easier because again, we are creatures of habit and it doesn't matter if it's a good or a bad habit, we don't discriminate. All right guys, so that's it for today. If you have any questions about habit building, breaking bad habits, creating good habits, feel free to reach out. Thanks.